Back in the 18th century, there was a story about a prisoner who supposedly shoved the iron ball from his shackles into a cannon and blasted himself right out of prison to freedom. To test it, the team first visited a local prison and found that a typical shackle ball weighed around 40 pounds, usually made from old cannonballs. They also checked a weapons shop for mortar specs, then went back to the workshop to build their own cannon and a replica set of shackles. Tori built the cannon with two-inch thick steel pipe for the barrel and a 12-inch hollowed steel rod for the powder chamber. Once welded together, Together, it was ready to fire. Meanwhile, Grant made the iron ball shackles. The test setup was simple. Chain the ball to a dummy's leg, load the ball into the cannon, and light the fuse. First, they fired the cannon without the dummy, just to see if it worked. The ball shot out at 130 miles per hour and sailed 80 yards, easily enough to clear a prison wall. But the real question was, could it actually carry a prisoner? When they tried it, the dummy didn't launch at all, it just spun awkwardly in place. Thinking the blast wasn't strong enough, they loaded three times more black powder. This time, the result was brutal. The iron ball ripped the dummy's leg clean off. Remember, its bones were made of steel, ten times stronger than human bone. The ball itself flew at 200 miles per hour, but the prisoner never left the ground. Myth busted.